Hello, it's Evelyn Maxwell again for Holistic Health Education. I am recalling a uh, article, Macular Degeneration, Its Causes and Prevention, by Dr. Lamb, found on his website, drlamb.com. He lists a number of uh, things that cause macular degeneration. But one of the things that we are so concerned about is there's not any uh, cure for that right now. They are working on some stem cells, but that's not readily available. So Dr. Lamb has listed eight different nutritional uh, items that are helpful in preventing macular degeneration, sometimes called age-related macular degeneration. So uh, let me list for you the foods that he gives that are mentioned in more than one of the eight categories. Blueberries, pomegranates, apples, tomatoes, onions, broccoli, oranges, green cabbage, sunflower seeds, wheat, and chicken. There was a study, I think it was uh, funded by the National Institute of Health called AREDS. The problem I found in trying to locate the like Bosch and Loam and uh, there are some other uh, companies that have followed and copied those A-Red formulas for, for the research is that almost all of them have titanium in them. And since titanium uh, causes lung cancer to a greater extent in people who work in the titanium factories than in the general population, I figure if it makes uh, cancer in the lungs, that it probably is not a good idea for us to take it in pills either. I looked for a formulation of eye supplements that would be close to what was in the A-RED study. I found one without titanium that has some, but not all, and has actually more ingredients for eye health than was in the eye uh, a red study. So uh, the I maintain is made by Nature's Life and is probably available at your local um, health food store if it's not in your grocery store or, or in your pharmacy. There are some things that are not in I maintain that needs to be increased. And so uh, for our own use, we add vitamin C and zinc. And if you uh, are like most people who don't accumulate copper, if you take the amount of zinc that's recommended is around 40 milligrams a day, then you need to take a couple of milligrams of copper to go with it. Uh, the vitamin C, I think, was supposed to be close to 500 milligrams a day. I maintain doesn't have quite as much of the zeanthins as is recommended and so I look for lutein and zeanthin for your supplement along with the vitamin C and the zinc to go with I maintain or similar product. I hope you had your pencil and paper ready when I was reading off the list of foods that are in more than one of Dr. Lamb's list of items that can help prevent macular degeneration. So what I'm going to do now, grab your pencil and paper, is list those again slowly so you can write them down. Blueberries, pomegranates, apples, tomatoes, onions, broccoli, oranges, 
green cabbage, broccoli, sunflower seeds, wheat, and chicken. Those have zinc in them. The original ARED study was using, ARED's two study had 80 milligrams of zinc. And some of the nutritionists who followed up those studies said that's too much zinc. And so they reduced the recommended amount to about 40 milligrams a day. Dr. Lamb says that you cannot get enough vitamin E from your foods and you can't get enough vitamin C from your foods. So for vitamin E, he suggests taking 400 international units a day and for vitamin C to take anywhere from 300 to 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C a day. Some of the researchers don't want you to take more than 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C. They say it can cause nausea and diarrhea if you take too much. So if you have diarrhea with vitamin C supplements, you know you're probably getting too much. We had 11 foods for you to have on your grocery list to help prevent macular degeneration. So again, thanks a lot for being uh, a, a viewer and uh, I'll try to have this on the blog also. Take care. God bless.